Ukrainian air forces have attacked a Russian position in Orichivsky direction of southeastern Zaporizhia region with the use of MiG-29. The 114th Tactical Aviate Brigade struck with eight GBU-39 small diameter bombs houses where Russian troops were concentrated in one of the Russian-occupied settlements. As a result of the attack, the houses where Russians invaders were concentrated, were destroyed and a large number of Russian soldiers were killed. The GBU-39 small diameter bombs have been provided to Ukraine as part of military aid from the United States. Their advantage is that they can be dropped at different points, which can be a great distance from one another. Zaporizhia has been under continuous Russian attacks since the launch of full-fledged invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. Since then, Russian troops have invaded part of the region but have failed to capture Zaporizhia city in that region. Kremlin has accused the United States of preparing the European Union for a direct armed conflict with Russia. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov voiced these accusations against Washington on Monday. In case Zelensky's regime fails, as a back plan, the United States is preparing the continental Europe to rush into a suicidal adventure and enter into a direct armed conflict with Russia, Sergei Lavrov said. Addressing the international symposium titled, Creating the Future, the top Russian diplomat claimed that Anglo-Saxons expect Russia's defeat in the ongoing war in Ukraine, just as Hitler did in his time, gathering most of European countries under the Nazi banner. The foreign minister also claimed that the ruling elites of a number of European countries do not see a future for themselves in a multipolar world and are looking for salvation from an overseas hegemon, meaning the United States. The minister stressed that Russia is not close to a dialogue with the West. However, Moscow will consider proposals to resume contacts, taking into account its own national interests, Lavrov said. Earlier, the Russian foreign ministry said that the West's war against Russia still had hybrid elements, but was increasingly turning into a real, direct, war. The ministry also stated that the United States and its satellites were trying to turn entire Eurasia into an arena of geopolitical confrontation, adding that it was this aggressive course that provoked the Ukrainian crisis triggered by the coup in February 2014. Severe storms and reported tornadoes overnight in Oklahoma ripped roofs off buildings and left about 33,000 homes and businesses without power. Authorities said Sunday that at least 11 people were taken to hospitals with injuries that were not life-threatening. Local television footage showed downed power lines, walls peeled off homes, overturned vehicles. At the University of Oklahoma, School officials had urged students and staff to seek shelter and move to the lowest floor as the storms approached campus after midnight. <laughs>